The Dunes Hotel was the 10th resort on the Strip. Since it opened in 1955, it had grown to nearly 1,300 rooms, played host to Nevada's first topless show, and boasted a 180-foot sign that was among the most recognizable on the Strip. But by 1993, that just didn't cut it anymore. After the success of the Mirage in 1989 and the construction of the new 5,000-room MGM Grand, Vegas was moving to the next level, where mega resorts would rule. During the time I was mayor, we went from, I think it was 70-some thousand hotel rooms to almost 130,000 hotel rooms. This led to the destruction of many of the town's most loved and iconic landmarks. But the implosion of the sands brought forth the Venetian. From the rubble of the Hacienda emerged Mandalay Bay. From the destruction of the Desert Inn came the wind. And from the ashes of the dunes arose the Bellagio. And we actually went from 15 million tourists to 35 million tourists in less than eight years' time. Accompanying this surge in tourism was an increase in the size and production costs of entertainment, leading to theatrical-driven, complex presentations that had never been seen before. Some of these acts, like illusionist Siegfried and Roy, had been in Vegas for years, reaching a greater level of extravagance in the 1990s. Others, like Cirque du Soleil, brought a fine-tuned act to the town, finding immediate success and even greater potential for larger productions. We have 150 technicians that manage this show, give or take. We have 85 performers in the show, 10 musicians and 75 acrobats and dancers on stage. There's about 300 people. But it wasn't just entertainment and tourism helping Las Vegas prosper. In 1990, the University of Nevada Las Vegas men's basketball team helped put the university on the map when they won the NCAA championship game, beating Duke by a record 30 points. This night belongs to Las Vegas. They have won their first ever national championship and in three trips. The Shark comes away a winner in a record setting night, 103-73. At the same time, developers were also scoring major business deals as master planned communities such as Green Valley and Summerlin really took shape. By New Year's Eve 1999, Las Vegas had become the largest American city founded in the 20th century with a population of over 1.3 million people. Two, one. Happy New Year, Las Vegas. The town celebrated in the typical Vegas style of immoderate, outrageous, and uncompromising fun. The new millennium is a minute and a half old, and I'll tell you, this is one big thrill. I will never forget this. There is no place like Las Vegas. As community leaders and history makers look toward Las Vegas' future, many are convinced the odds are in its favor. I think the future of Las Vegas is very bright. I mean, it's got to the point where the growth is almost geometric. And we're excited about the future. I think uh, a lot of people are betting a lot of money. I think it, it's, the potential is limitless, and I would hope to see more shows. Get ready for the uh, Steve Wynn effect to go all the way up towards the Sahara Hotel. It's a very aggressive city. We don't know the words, it can't be done. There's no reason uh, that I see that we should be slowing down. If not, uh, we should be improving. Vegas has really positioned itself so unique that no other city I think in the world can catch its energy. When people come to Vegas, it's much uh, less expensive than going to a shrink. Las Vegas has positioned itself as the must-see destination of the entire world. This city has always been uh, boom, it's not boom and bust. We're seeing two billion dollar edifices going up all over. I mean, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. They're all very, very successful. I mean, every time they open one, you can't get in the parking lot. It's an unreal world out here. And so I don't think it, it, it will stop. I think it'll continue to reinvent itself. Everything comes in cycles. What was popular 30, 40 years ago is becoming popular again. So what's old is new, what's new is old, and, and the next phase is unknown but very exciting.